GIMP, Graphic Image Manipulation Program. All right, to get started in GIMP, we're going to be looking at navigation and the overall navigation of the program. So this is a program that is broken up into docs. And the docs can be closed and open. They can be manipulated in such a way that you want to maybe organize them in any fashion. It's a very, very free flowing program. If you have two monitors, GIMP's amazing. So what we're going to do first is look at um, the windows. So this is your main window. You can't close this one, but you can um, close it to about right here. So once you get it to here, and if you close it one step further, program shuts down. So go File, New, and I'm just going to hit something by default. Let's say a default of 640 by 480, and hit OK. Now if I want my tools, we have new toolbox. Anytime this closes, it closes all the time, open a new toolbox up. See at the top where it says toolbox? So no matter if this is big or small or whatever else, it's always labeled at the very top. So in the videos, just look at the very top. If you see something that's open on my screen that you need, just read it and then find it in the windows. The only thing that's different is toolbox. The other ones are located here. So let's say layers, for example. You can even go so far as saying, well, I want a custom dock. That's very easy. You can go to this little icon and say add tab. In a tab, I might want channels to be with layers. Now, when you first start out, you can't make a blank tab. So what you could do here is go like this. Find something that you're going to be using, like navigation for one. Navigation, you might use something else. You might use um, And the thing that you might be using all the time with this one. Well, you're going to learn that along with everything else, but I would say maybe histogram would be in there. Maybe undo history would be great. Now you can see all the undos. Navigation undos. That's a good combination. You're going to find your own navigation, your own custom layout. And you can use it whatever you way, which way you want. Okay, so once you get that, then we have to worry about the navigation of the document. Well, here's how it works. Um, first off, let's go to the Move tool. The move tool is a very neutral tool to play with. And use Control and Wheel Mouse. This will zoom in and out. Okay. Now, use the space bar and move the mouse around. While you're holding the space bar down, this will pan the document. So practice going from control to zooming in to mousing around. You can also use this navigation window. Okay, so you can zoom in and out. You can pan around. This is a nice way of uh surfing through your document, especially if you had a again a secondary monitor, just keep this over there. It's also a nice way to preview a thumbnail image. And all these do certain things. So undo history, you can see that I need to do an undo here. Well I can just go back. Or I can hit control Z. But that's the basics of the navigation. There's not much to GIMP, and that's what makes it beautiful, is because it's so simple. One thing I will say that we need to turn off, though, is any tool, like let's say we go to the brush, see the pointer? 
that gets in your way. So, and so does the, the icon for whatever you're using. So one of the features I do like to turn off is going into the properties. Oh, preferences I need. So edit preferences and go to this one right here, image windows. And I want to show the brush outline, but I don't want to show the pointer for the paint tools. And you can use tool icon or you use crosshair only. It's up to you. I like to put black and white and um, let's hit OK. So now if I'm in the brush mode, I got this. It's not in my way. Perfect. Alright, so now that we have the basics down for navigation, let's move on to the next video.